I've been playing wheelchair rugby since 1996, I believe. So what's that? 26 years? 26 years. I didn't feel old until he asked me that. Growing up, I've always played sports. Uh, I played lacrosse in high school, did track. Um, kind of al always outdoors doing something. And rugby brought that back to me. My favorite thing about rugby, I mean, I talk about camaraderie of it all. That's, that's probably the major thing. But just to stay athletic, just to stay out moving. And, so I'm going to be 60 very soon. And I look at some of my peers in wheelchairs and just able body that their, their lives have deteriorated just because they have not stayed active. You know, I'm just out here rocking it. When I started with the Wildcats, we didn't really have a coaching system down. It was we'd show up to practice, get a good workout in, go to some tournaments, do fairly decent, but we were always hungry for more. And then we got Coach Bassett. Mike was just what we needed to come in and coach us to bring us to a point where we're going to take this serious and get a little more structure in our program, get more athletes involved and uh, see where we can take it. I think we set a goal of making it to Division II. As soon as Mike got on board, he had a real drive to take us to the next level. And we just latched on to that. It's like, we gotta make it into D2. Next year, we're gonna do it. Well, then COVID happened. We went from being able to practice here in this amazing facility to having to do outdoor practices. We actually shoveled off a couple tennis courts going through piles of leaves, pushing outside. Any kind of weather element you can imagine, we've pushed in. We get out and practice with the goal of, we're gonna make it to Division Two in 2020, 2021. Well, that season never happened, so we just kept practicing. Not being able to compete really motivated them to get together on a weekly basis, multiple times a week as awful of a thing as COVID was, we were a team that really grew from that experience. When we went to Nationals, we came in with a chip on our shoulder. We were undefeated from the last tournament, feeling very strong. We played our first game, we won, and then we continued to win. We continued to grow our chemistry as a team. We won most of our games by five to 12 tries. And then we played for the D2 national title and blew out the team by 18 tries. Goal accomplished. You know, we worked so hard for two years, two seasons, to get to that point and to come out on top was just, it was just the icing on the cake. And here we are, Division Two National Champions. National Champion, Northeast Passage Wildcats. The celebration begins.